hello everyone welcome to another video and in this video we are going to cover a new frontend mentor challenge this is possibly the easiest and smallest frontend mentor challenge so far so this is the challenge here qr code component and you only need to have knowledge or actually the basics about html and css so you don't need any knowledge about responsive layout okay so without any further ado let's get started At first we need to get into the challenge here then download the starter files let's open this up by winner and after that we can extract this on the desktop here let's do it okay so let me open up the design images here so this is the desktop design this is the desktop preview and this is the mobile design so there is no difference between the desktop and mobile design and also there is no active state so there is no hoverable element in this entire card so let's get started at first we are going to open this up by visual studio code okay so this is the markup text and everything i'm just going to delete some of this the attribution the style of the attribution okay now let's see so as this is a fixed layout we don't need to do anything to make it responsive we can give this a maximum weight of a specific value then put the image at top and the text at the bottom so let's start by creating a container div which will contain everything we are going to apply the maximum weight with this container inside this container let's create a new card div we are going to add the padding and everything inside this card so at the top there will be the image here so they are in the images folder then image qr code dot png let's create another div which will contain all the text here so we can give this a class name of text maybe now this is the title but this is a card so we should not use the ace on tag we can use the ace to tag instead or maybe s3 let's just cut this text from here and paste it inside the a2 then let's use a paragraph tag because this is kind of a description so that should be put into a paragraph tag so the markup is very simple and this is done let's open this up by the live server extension okay this is how it looks like now let's open up the style guide.md we need to import this font from google font the font name is outfit and we need the font weight of 400 and 700 so let's open this up by pressing order and click so this is the font i have already selected 400 and 800 now we need to import this or we can also link it up so let's copy the import link and create a style.css file first let's paste this here then we are going to copy this font family let's target the body and apply it here now we need to link this up because we haven't did that yet so link css and it should be style.css okay now as you can see the font has been changed let's make it smaller so we can see it as a live preview okay so at first there is some default margin and padding here at the top and at the left it is actually on every side but we cannot see the other sun differently now let's use the universal selector which is an aesthetics and apply a margin 0 and padding 0 now if we save this this space should be gone and this is gone now let's target the body here actually before that let's target the container and we want to give this container a maximum weight let's say 360 pixels and we need to make it center 
that's how you can use the margin auto now this is at the center but the image is kindly overflowing the element so what we can do is we can target the card and image and give this a weight of 100 percent so that it doesn't overflow now that the center now let's go back to the body again and uh, the body should have a background color like this and the card should have this background color of white so let's grab the color code from the style.md which is uh, light gray i think let's just copy this and give this a background color and paste the color and for the card let's give this a background color of white which is also included in here actually we can use triple f instead now i want to make it at the center that's why i have i'm going to target the body here so let's give this a many minimum height of 100 viewport height and in order to make it center the elements in the center we can use the display flex and align items center now the card is at the center here fine now let's go back to the card here and we need to add a padding let's say we want a padding of maybe 18 pixels nice now let's also give this a border radius because as you can see here the corners are rounded also the corner of the images are also rounded so let's apply 18 pixels actually 17 maybe now the corners are rounded we can also apply the border radius with the image as well so it should be slightly smaller than the parent element so i'll use 12 pixels it looks good now for the card let's make the text align to the center because as you can see here at the design all the text are at the center the align so the card image is also done now let's go back to the text here so for the text we want to add some padding like a top and bottom and left and right so for top and bottom let's use 22 pixels and for left and right let's increase it to maybe uh, 10 pixels fine now for the body here the font size is 15 pixels so what we can do is copy that and apply that on the body font size 15 pixels now let's target the ace 2 tag here and give this a color so this is the color dark blue for the title and let's also add a padding at the bottom to create some gap with the paragraph text in here so let's apply 15 pixels and for the paragraph text we can again apply the color on the paragraph tag here so this is the grayish blue color okay fine everything is looking great and similar to the design here but there is a little bit of issue if we make it uh, inspect this in the smaller size display or device as you can see when the display size will be smaller than the maximum weight which is 360 it should be like this and we don't want that we want to have some gap at left and right that's why we can use a margin with the card here card not color adjustment sorry it should be margin okay um we don't need any margin and top and bottom because this is already at the center but for left and right let's use on em let's save and as you can see now there should be a on em gap at left and right as well okay so the card is done and if you want to see the code i will upload this entire project into the code pen and you will find the link in the description down below so thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends so thanks again and see you in the another video until then take care and goodbye